All right, everybody, take a look at this beautiful 2021 Ford Explorer and the top of the line limited trim level. And this happens to be a hybrid. That's right, this vehicle actually get really good fuel economy while still giving you all sorts of capabilities. So Ford has made this vehicle with the highest tow capacity for a hybrid model. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds with its factory equipped hitch. It's also a rear wheel drive based, even though it does have four wheel drive capabilities, allowing you just to tow way better when you are loaded up let's take a look at it so right up front you do have really nice full LED headlights and fog lights that don't draw any extra power and they're also automatic with auto high beam mode that means you can just set them and forget them in the front you do have park sensors so if you get too close to anything in your garage those are going to go off you also do have a front facing camera right underneath that emblem and it really makes parking a thing of beauty um, on the side you have these nice limited uh, wheels they look great um, they are aluminum alloy and easy to clean. Then the black molding breaks up the color scheme and keeps everything free from rocks as does the rocker panel on the bottom. These mirrors are power folding heated mirrors with another video camera underneath them and they have a blind spot monitoring system inside. Uh, they're memory so they link to all your settings. And then it has the easy entry system so you can just put your hand in here, sense the heat from my hand or I can press this little lock looking button and it will lock the vehicle as well as power fold those mirrors in. Now with Ford, you also do have this keypad entry system. So if you want to get in or out of the vehicle without a key, you can do that. Or you can of course use this key that has unlock, lock, remote start, power lift gate and alarm. Or you can do all that from your Ford Pass application anywhere in the world, remote start for free. Uh, let's open up the back here and you can take a look at this gorgeous interior. So this limited model does have a really nice stitching inside the door panel and on the seats. You do get these window visor blinds on the side that hook in if you want to block some sunlight. Uh, and then this is configured with the bench seat across. So it does actually have extra seating for up to seven people. Um, take a look in the back here and you will see we've got heat controls as well as rear heated seats, USB and an inverted power supply. And then if you look up top, you have that huge panoramic sunroof. We come to the back of the vehicle and you can see that factory installed hitch there right away. Again, 5,000 pounds, um, definitely the best out of a hybrid. Uh, the rest are way, way lower. And then you do have LED brake lights. Uh, there still are some bulbs inside the housing, but the brake lights themselves are LED. Backup camera to go with that all around view camera, dual exhaust, rear park assist sensors too. And then of course you can open the lift gate either from the key using your foot or using the hatch itself. Inside here, so you've got a bit of storage behind the the third row seat and underneath this there's actually places to put more things as well as little side cubbies uh, your back seats can go down very easily just press a button here uh, and those will go down on their own you'll see this subwoofer in the back too with the B&O stereo system so we have all kinds of space in the back of this especially once you put those seats down or if you want to put that middle row down you can haul, haul just about what you can in a truck let's go take a look up front and see what that looks like so we're going to open up the driver's door here and we see this beautiful trim in here and you see the first thing B&O Bang & Olufsen sound system with these tweets. We have three different memory positions, our power folding mirrors, power window controls, uh, lots of places to put things, cubbies on the door, it says Explorer as soon as you open it up and then you do have these heated and air conditioned power seats with lumbar. Um, these are our headlight controls, including that automatic setting. Uh, on the steering wheel, you've got tilt and telescopic to go with your memory controls. And on the selector here for changing lanes, uh, your signal light, just on the end, you can press this on or off for the lane departure system. Climb inside here. We'll go ahead and hit the push button control. That is going to start the vehicle for us and you notice it's very very quiet That's because the electric motor uh, runs when you don't need it And then we just heard that kick on uh, as the heater and whatnot kicks on it needs a little more power So it's going to start using the electric or the regular motor um, Inside of here you'll see we've got all kinds of uh, Interesting feedback on this one digital speedometer and you can see a lot more information if you want um, Come down on the steering wheel and this does have the intelligent cruise control slow down automatically as well as the lane sensor Entering. So this will actually keep you right in the middle of the lanes and you don't have to steer the vehicle Just rest your hands on the steering wheel even steer around corners volume controls on here uh, Menu controls for all our heads-up display up top um, Phone controls stereo controls and this leather wrap steering wheel is heated as well feels like a nice warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning 
Um, on this side, we've got this floating screen up top. This does everything for us. Um, it has a built-in navigation system. It has Wi-Fi integration. It's got Bluetooth streaming, text messages, and controls that B&O stereo system. Now, this also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it will mirror your phone. If you want to use the GPS from your phone, Spotify, podcast, whatever you might want to use there. And then, because this is a hybrid, you can actually hit this power flow icon, and it'll show you what the vehicle is doing, if it's regenerating the uh, battery with braking, if it's using the motor, if it's using the um, engine up front, what it's doing, and it'll tell you engine on due to heater setting engine cold. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Then places to put things up here, nice tray style. Um, down here we do have our park sensors which we can turn on or off for front and back and our camera if we go ahead and hit that button you'll see the camera display there all around us for parking which is really nice and then forward-facing camera as well um, volume controls and then down here we do have our heat controls and this is really nice toggle that I can just toggle up or down these switches very easily um, we can hit the menu button and it'll bring up additional climate controls in there and then our heated steering wheel heated seats and air-conditioned seats all very easy to get to uh, down here we've got more storage press this button and you'll see we've got USB-C and USB chargers and 12 volt um, nice rotary style shifter with a manual mode and if we put it in manual mode there are actual paddle shifts behind the steering wheel if we want to sh shift gears nice place to be able to put your cell phone or other items um, does have the electronic park brake and auto hold if you don't know what auto hold does that means if I take my foot off the brake while I'm waiting for a train or a set of lights or in traffic it will hold the vehicle automatically until I press the gas then we do have a hill descent control mode. If you're going down a hill, it won't let you free roll. Traction control and drive modes. Drive modes, if I spin this dial, uh, this is going to give us different indications of the all-wheel drive system uh, and engine settings. So if we're in tow haul mode, sport mode, if we are in eco mode, um, we can go through all the different drive modes, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, adjust to traction control appro appropriately. Um, in here you do also have nice lights inside your cup holders and ambient lighting all through the vehicle Then up top you do have an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror uh, And we've got controls for our big sunroof up top which includes a power shade So if we hit this button that's going to automatically start closing off the sun if we don't want so much light in the cab Map lights, uh, sunglasses holder up top here and then we have garage door openers So uh, beautiful vehicle. I mean, all the features that you could want inside this vehicle uh, and it comes in a hybrid and still tows. This vehicle is rated for around eight liters per hundred kilometers, which is phenomenal um, considering the capabilities of this unit. If you've been looking for something interesting, something special, check this hybrid out. All right. Thanks for taking a look.